We now will have a discussion about how to manage holiday savings oh, and spending so you can actually enjoy your r and time during vacation. Great. And now we have with us a certified financial planner, Mbak Meta Angriani. Good morning, Bo. Hello, good morning, Mbak Karina. Good morning, Bo. Friend of the show, welcome back as usual. Good to see you. Thank you. See you again, Mbak. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, Paul has um, expressed his Concern. concerns <laughs> about, you know, spending um, too much on, on vacation. But what do you think is the first thing one should do before planning a vacation? Well, maybe we first have to realize that uh, vacation is actually a tertiary needs, right? Mm -hmm. So it's actually, uh, we have to manage the, you know, the vacation should follow our financial capacity, not right. the other way around. Right. So so we have to know first what is our financial capacities. I mean, like, you know, how much money do we have? And right. then we we, we, we we choose our destinations. Oh. Once we choose what, where to go, then mm -hmm. we have to, you know, calculate the total cost of the holiday, you know, okay. from the transportation, accommodations, meals and entertainments, and right. of course, a budget for souvenirs maybe. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, and I think I would suggest to also add some, you know, uh, some extra budget, emergency. some extra for emergency, yeah. you know, especially that now we are still in the pandemic, right? right? So maybe there are still some uncertainties, you know, when there's a change in regulations you in between the holidays. Yes, yeah. test for the PCR test or whatever yeah. it is. So I mean, uh, is you have to to really count all the all the expenses, and I mean, and you have to real to to decide as well how long will you go because right. that also determine the budget, right? right? Right. Now, after after you, you have the total cost, so you check your, your finance. If you have already the money, then you can go, right? right. But if you don't have it, that's why you have to start Save saving up. it, yeah. right? And then when you have to save it, then then you you know you you, you divide your total cost with your monthly saving abilities. Um, yeah, but yeah, you have to be reasonable for that. Right. You know, you don't want to come home with an empty bank account. Of course, right? or, or a full credit card. Right? <laughs> exactly. It's even worse. But my yes. you used to mention. Um, I, I believe you used to have a kind of like a framework as to. You know, when most families uh, or people I know, um, they go on a big vacation once a year. They try to go on vacation mm -hmm. once a year. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you work an office job, that's probably the block of time you have off as well. But you did mention that, you know, once a month, you should break down your finances into your expenses mm -hmm. and how much you should put away and you have a percentage breakdown of mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Is it different for those that have, like so someone like me who continue to just have more and more kids all the time <laughs> and somebody who's single per se, yeah. to how, how should we plan differently uh, mm -hmm. financially for our vacation well of course uh, it will be quite different you know budget wise you know right. for the singles and for the family because you know and especially uh, you know when you talk about the money it will be a lot more for the families right, right. Mm -hmm. and I think you bet you're right because I think the second factor is about the timing you know when you are single then you are flexible enough to go anywhere right. anytime you want right. but when you have children you have especially when they are already in school mm -hmm. you have to adjust with their right. school vacation and normally when you go on a school vacation it is a big season more where expensive. everything is more expensive, <laughs> right? right. right. So, uh, so that's why I mean, it's good to actually plan for a holiday, like you said. Maybe, maybe once in a year we have like a block, uh, a big, big holidays. Mm -hmm. You know, where all the families go together. Maybe quite a longer time. You know, and and everything is prepared. But you know, sometimes uh, you know, holidays maybe like you said, maybe two times a year could yeah. be good as well. You know, because like at the end of the year you have another time to spend with families. Mm -hmm. So I think again. We have to adjust. Maybe like one time the biggest, the bigger, the bigger one, and then the, the other times smaller. you know the smaller one. You know, you know. Maybe you want to go for a weekend vacation, sure. just like a like short trip, right? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, but so that's why we have to manage. You know, like that's why you know every, everyone at the end, at the beginning of the year they look at the calendar. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, you, uh, I can't remember. Was it something like thirty percent that we put away from our kind of monthly earnings for mm -hmm. savings? Is that, is, it, well, is that accurate? I kind of forgot. Well, the ideal is, but is is ten percent for savings. All but right. of course, if you can save more, it's, it's better. So right. out of that ten percent, is that where our, our vacation um, budget uh, save, right. savings well, is going? To? Normally, if you if you can only sp uh, save for ten percent, right. maybe that's for us. Uh, uh, you know the 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 
essential savings, you know, like your you savings, know, your core savings, you know, like you know, like right. for the kids' education mm -hmm. or you know, for housing for the future, basically. Uh, for the future. Yeah. But you know, for for vacation, it's something extra. So right. that's why if you want to save for holiday, I think you have to manage that you already taken care of the other savings. True. The first ten percent. So, right, right. So if you have more, then you can also allocate for the holiday. So what range are we looking at extra yeah. we should put away when it comes to a vacation? Well, for vacation, normally people when you, they plan for a vacation is you know is quite a short term, right? right. Because mm -hmm. I want to go within six months or mm -hmm. at least a year. Right. Right. So that's why you have to to, 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 to save quite a lot of money within a year, oh, right? Oh, you have so, to save more, actually more right, because you right. don't have much time to save. Right, right. True, that's a good Unless point. you want to save, you know, like maybe I want to go for a pilgrimage maybe five years from now. That's right. a different thing, right? Okay. So, mm -hmm. Wow, for me, I'll probably just end up having a staycation then because <laughs> I won't be going very far. <laughs> but that's a really interest, another really interesting moment because um, as we've mentioned, Paul and I are in very different stages of life. As you said, I'll probably have more flexibility being mm -hmm. single and, and whatnot. But um, do you have a certain number maybe that say I can maybe start to like save up for and maybe Paul as well to go on a well, vacation to, to maybe say something like Singapore? Well, first, because I think there is no uh, rules on how much you should save for a vacation right. because actually it is, it is really uh, an extra one. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so the, the only limit is your money, right. <laughs> your financial capacity, right? So actually, if you have more, then you can, you, you can budget more. But if you don't, that's why you have to make an adjustment. Maybe, well, if I cannot afford to Singapore now, maybe I, I, I postpone it to two or three months later. Right. Or maybe if I still want to have a vacation, or maybe I adjust my destination. So, right. so that's why you have to be flexible on okay. make adjustment for that. Okay, so uh, we can plan all we want when it comes to uh, finances. You know, I'm gonna plan for my transport, my hotels. I've planned out three meals a day. <laughs> And then once you actually go on vacation, it's all those different plans story. go out the window. <laughs> because, you know, it's hard to turn kids down. We're like, Eddie, I want that. It's like, okay. And then, you know, you tend to overspend. Right. And I, I don't think I've ever had a vacation where I spent less. I'm like, oh, wow, I have extra money coming back. No, no, no. Right. How, you know, overspending is quite, I guess it's quite common. But mm -hmm. how do you keep track of, of uh, how much you can overspend? Because, you know, there's credit cards and things you can use. And that's what it's for. It gives you flexibility. Yeah. But how should we, how can we control overspending while we're on your vacation. Well, yeah, I mean, like, for me, when I plan for a holiday, I, you know, I, I have quite a big number of the money I should spend. Mm. But, of course, I don't put a lot of details because, of course, you want to enjoy the holiday, right? We have to be sure. flexible as well. I mean, like, you know, suddenly you find something that is interesting mm -hmm. more. So, I think uh, that's why I mentioned that we have to put quite an, a threshold, you know, an extra budget for the for the total one. So, I mean, like, let's say if I have to a budget of 10 million rupees, maybe you should put like 25% extra more okay. for, 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 you know, just for, you know, sometimes it's not just about you want something, but, you know, sometimes things are changing, you know, yeah. you have to, right. you have, you, maybe you miss flights or, or things like right, that, right? right? That's so, true. And we don't know how much everything costs either. If right. you're going to a foreign yeah, country for the there. first time, yeah. Yeah. you can only right. guess how much meals cost, right. but then you're like, wow, it's really expensive to eat <laughs> right. here. Like, I didn't know. That's right. right. Yeah. Yes. And, and Paul mentioned credit cards as well, mm. right? Now, maybe a lot of people would think, oh, I'll just think about it later. I have my credit cards. I can pay it later. But they, as Paul said, end up overspending. Now, do you think it's wise to be using a credit card when you're on vacation? Because you, you, you're not thinking, you know, I mean, the limit. You're not thinking like, right. when you're on vacation. <laughs> just like swiping all the right. time. Right. Well, actually, credit card is, it can be useful because uh, it's actually it's a tool to manage your cash flow, right? right. So when, when we spend it with the credit cards, we know that we have to, to, to pay it at a day late, later. Mm -hmm. And so you know there's a time that I have to, 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 to pay for right. the credit right. card. But, that's why you have to make sure that we have the cash when the due date. Right. right? <laughs> to pay it. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so the thing is, we, uh, we have to realize as well that, you know, the vacation is mostly, it is, you know, for, uh, you know, just, it's a relaxing time for our mental health, right? We have to go out from our routines. Right. We want to explore. We want to go experience something new. Gitu. But, but then again, it, it can be productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not an investment, right? Yeah, that's So it's right. an expense that's, one hundred percent like, out and never, <laughs> out. never yeah, back you know. in, right? Right, only the memory remains, yeah, right? Right. <laughs> right. So, to get it, so it is not very, it's not advisable to finance your holidays with mm. debt. Right. So, so, so then once you go back from the holiday, 
it's good for you to at least uh, if you want to pay the credit card, then you pay the credit card and then you can start saving for the next holiday, not right. for paying the old sure. holidays. Oh, yeah, because yeah, right some people end up doing that. You put yeah. everything and then you end up, okay, I have about six months to pay this off again. And then when right. are you going to save up for your next holiday? Then, right, right. right. So I, I myself, my personal experience is I have one credit card that I, I love using my credit card on vacation because I find it's very convenient and I don't want to bring a lot of local currency around right. even though it's necessary and we are a cashless society more and more these yes. days. But uh, I do, so what I do is I, I have my holiday savings and I'll just kind of put away a certain amount in a different bank account mm -hmm. and I know that's how much I can spend on my credit card in total. And, right. then, um, and then I find that, you know, usually it matches up yep. and I'll, I'll be able to pay off the entire amount so I don't have to pay interest when I when I get back yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, I think credit card is not only uh, convenient but it's also safe because, you know, again, mm. you, if you're carrying a lot of local currency, you could lose it or yeah. something could happen, knock on wood. But having a credit card, it gives you flexibility because they're accepted widely as right. well. And what I've done is if you want to, let's say, go on a vacation with a spouse, mm. um, I've actually had a, a supplementary card for my wife, but I kept it on the same account. Right. So right. that any charges that happen, it's not going to be, I'm not going to be counting two different things. Right. Everything right. else happens on the same right. account. So it's still under, within the same budget. So I, I right. find that it's great to have a credit card, but just make sure you kind of, I don't know. Be mindful. Yeah, of yeah like map it out yeah. before yeah. you go, right? Yeah, because yeah. that's the best way. Right, right. And be make sure you pay your, your balance yes. before you go on holiday. Yes, Because that's then right. it doesn't because up with the, uh, your holiday spending. Gives right. you more space <laughs> on your credit card. Expand more. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's right. So when you get back on vac from vac vacation now, um, you kind of have to start from scratch again, don't you? Right. Everything is all, is all over mm -hmm. with. So hopefully you haven't overspent too much. But what's the, uh, what's the next uh, steps now that you've come back from vacation, you have all these expensive memories now but you have to start new ones do you immediately start saving again for your next vacation do you need a little bit of breathing room or well yeah i mean like well this is the post uh, vacation financial rehab mm -hmm. <laughs> things that we're yeah. talking about mm -hmm. well of course if you don't have if you just need to pay the credit card and you pay and then and then maybe sometimes you have to do some checkup again mm. on the finan financial and especially you know when when we go on when we go back from the holiday especially like from the eat holiday right? Mm -hmm. right like yesterday when we go after for, after the eat you know when the, the allowance also is 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 gone yep. so so now we have to to, to look at again at our finances uh, do this, do some financial checks up i mean like okay all the bills are paid and then maybe we, 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 if you don't if you don't have the idea of what where to go next then it's okay to just put some extra money on yeah. the on the bank account for a holiday but maybe if you have other things that are more important maybe you should focus on that first okay. as well so it's good to see to 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 reprioritize things as well before you, you you save for another holiday, but if you have already have a plan, then then go for it. Because I mean, like, you know, it's good to make some allocations in every month, so you sure. know what's your plan. You have some right. extra money, you know. Uh, if suddenly you get an invitation from a friends abroad, mm -hmm. or you know, yeah. you have the extra money for That's that. True, or yeah, weddings, uh, and stuff. right, or right. extended vacations, mm -hmm. perhaps. So. Um, Let's say uh, you brought up a good point there in regards to the Eid al-Fitri. We're a very unique society where once a year, those that are on salary actually receive an extra, if you work the entire year, yeah. exchange an extra month of salary. Mm -hmm. Is it advisable to use that for holiday or is that something that you should actually use uh, you know, to pay down debt or to... to because right. that is a fairly big amount for a lot of people. Right, right, it's a, yeah. a whole month that you didn't work. Yeah, in some companies as well, they give some vacation allowance for the employees, right? Mm -hmm. right. So, I mean, um, again, we have to look at, you know, our early yearly plan as well, you right. know, our yearly uh, expenses. Maybe we have also some yearly expenses that we have to pay, you know, like paying tax, mm -hmm. you know, yes. uh, housing tax or maybe... Uh, or other things that you have to pay once a year. Right. And you know, like for example, like we have Idul Fitri, but now coming up next, we have Idul Adha, right? right. Yeah. Of course, maybe it's not a holiday, but, but there are still some money you have to spend. Right. So so that's why it's good to to, to kind of like plotting uh, where things that, that that needs your money to, to, to finance it, right? right? Okay. Yeah, so, so it's a good thing if you have like a vacation allowance or, you know, the religious allowance, maybe you have to to realize first, you know, what, what are the needs. Yeah. Uh, if you have, uh, if everything is already covered, then you can put the, uh, the, you can use the money for vacation or, you know, to have fun or just to relax and unwind. I think, I think we all need for that, right? So important. <laughs> yeah. Right. You talk a lot about financial health, Mbak Meta. Um, is it, uh, is it wise for somebody, like let's say um, I'm newly married and uh, I've got a mortgage that's mm. fairly new, I've got a car loan, 
Um, is it still advisable? Because vacations are necessary. We think they're such an extra thing, but also it's something that you need to refresh yourself, especially if you Man. work a lot of hours. So for someone with, let's say, uh, debt, like when I say debt, still good debt because Mortgage. you're investing in assets. Mm -hmm. Is it still advisable to put away, uh, to force yourself to put away money or for vacation? Well, well, yeah, I think, I think people need some downtime anyway mm. so so i think uh, it's good to maintain your mental health right, right. i mean so so it, but the thing is actually the cost of mental health should not be that expensive as well because what you need right. is a resting time you know right. right but sometimes we want you know you don't we, have to fly all over europe yeah. to keep yourself happy right <laughs> yes sure. if you need to rest and sleep for example you can sleep anywhere of course, but of course <laughs> <laughs> but of course you nice want to sleep in paris so <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great Right. I, I get what you mean. Right, yeah. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to force mm -hmm. yourself to take an expensive vacation. Right. Mm -hmm. Perhaps like a weekend away, like you said. Because yeah. it yeah. would be a burden rather than a vacation if you're thinking about... Yeah. 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 The early days of, of the pandemic, I, I completely remember we took advantage of the fact that there was uh, a lot of hotel discounts. Mm. Uh, and uh, I wasn't working a lot back then. And then I just decided, let's just do like staycations. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, that, yeah, you know, yeah. two days away from home was yeah, certainly yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't have to pay for transportation. Right, right. There, so that really helped. All right, yeah, when's your next vacation now that we've... Uh, oh, it's summer. Summer, isn't it? Summer's coming. I'll probably go after you. Oh. I'll let you take a vacation. You've been working too hard. I don't think I'll be taking, like I told about that, I don't think I'll be taking a vacation for a while. <laughs> so I've got family plans. But in the meantime, thank you so much, Mameta, for always joining us and uh, advising us. Well, thank, thank you, Paul. So thank you, Paul. It's a lot, a lot of advice for me. <laughs> Great to see you.